Hello everyone, got another mukbang video coming at you today. This time I'm gonna be having some Wendy's in Canada. I'm a personal trainer, nutrition coach, but you're still allowed to eat some unhealthy foods from time to time. So today's lineup, we got ourselves a chocolate frosty, um, some nuggets. I haven't had Wendy's nuggets in a while and I got their ghost pepper ranch sauce. I like spicy stuff, don't like ranch that much, but I'm always in for the spiciness. And then I got a couple burgers, so yeah, this costs like 15 bucks, but that's inflation, just inflation for you. So cool. I'm gonna start out with this burger. I feel like this is gonna be a good one to go with. Start. So it's the junior bacon cheeseburger there. I said no pickle. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. So yeah, here we go. I'm just taking that tomato off. Junior bacon cheeseburger. I love bacon on burgers, but I don't get it ever. I'm actually not a huge bacon guy. But our burger sometimes is nice. Look at how thin that patty is though. Is this even a burger? Like, shrinkflation strikes again. Yeah, there's like any, barely any beef to that. Wendy's, come on. I guess these are the smaller burgers, but dang, that's small. <laughs> Couldn't cost, I guess. That's so good though. I don't get Wendy's like ever, so this is a special occasion. Junior bacon cheeseburger. I'm not sure what the other one is. I just order random things off the menu. That's good. Almost, almost through it already. Yeah, the tomato is even thicker than the patty is. That's crazy. Shrinkflation, inflation. We're getting screwed from all angles. Almost done this burger off. Mmm. One down. <laughs> Ugh. Get to train our arms after this. So these calories are getting put to good use. I think I'll the chicken nuggets next, just to break things up. Even the nuggets look a little smaller. Oh, they're good though. Love me a crunchy nugget. I'm gonna open up this uh, ghost pepper ranch sauce. Contains milk and eggs somehow. Let's see if the sauce is any good. Kind of tastes like paint. A little bit of spiciness. Yeah, these nuggets are definitely smaller. <laughs> then again, I don't eat Wendy's very often. I haven't had the nuggets probably like, like 10 years or something stupid. The sauce not bad. Uh, they used to have a different type of spicy sauce, creamy sriracha, but sriracha is like extremely rare now. Oh, the crunch on these. Nice breading. I make my own chicken. I like it better than these nuggets, honestly. That's a bigger nugget, I guess. Yeah, I don't know what Heinz is doing with this sauce, but it literally tastes like paint. A spicy paint. One more nugget left. Yeah, that sauce is weird. <laughs> Crunchy nugget textures. So good. We have a little of this to cool down. Wendy's chocolate frosty is undefeated. I only got a small because I don't want to be crapping all over the gym. So yeah, I'm just one with small ice cream. Two inch dairy, never a good thing. <laughs> 
I'm gonna get a brain freeze if I try to eat this fast. But uh, I hope it melts because the slightly melted frosty is the best. I don't know if this is in America, but at least here in Canada, Wendy's now has breakfast and they have like a frosty chino, which is like a cappuccino made with frosty. It's really good. I think the frosty is one of the best uh, like ice creams you can get from a fast food place. I think this was supposed to be 99 cents. I think there's 99 cents Frosties all summer. I think I read that somewhere. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I didn't give you a receipt. It was like 15 bucks for all this. and Not a lot of food, but... I thought I'd be saving money ordering out the value menu, but nah. There's people ripping around here. Jeez. I'm just parked at a very low-key location. And I see people going like <laughs> double the speed limit right now. Wild and out. <clears throat> I'm seriously gonna get brain freeze if I try to finish this to the last bite. Oh, my stomach's gurgling. That's great. I hope I don't crap myself when I go to the gym later. All right, and then the double stack, which is I said no pickle, and they didn't give it. Didn't give a damn about my wants and needs. They said, you're getting the pickles. I even said no pickle to, on both of the burgers. <laughs> now they're tainted with that, that disgusting pickle sauce or pickle flavoring. This burger's going to be nasty. <laughs> the people that work at Wendy's just seem to not give a crap about their lives or job at all. They just do whatever they feel like. <laughs> There's not many things I hate in life, but I hate pickles. The only thing I can taste on this is the pickle. <laughs> There's no pickle on it anymore. Kind of greasy. Yeah, it feels like it's going to make me crap my pants. Oh well. If I'm Wendy's... Most places use like red onions in their burger. Wendy's uses the, the sweet onion. It's really strong. One thing I noticed about Wendy's always. Intense onion. This burger's not bad, but it's not good. I don't know. It tastes like pickles. It's okay though. Oh, my stomach does not feel good. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> I should have did these mukbang videos back. <clears throat> I went on a big bulk one time, up to 272 pounds. Oh lord, he coming! Onion just fell into my shorts. And slid down my leg. That's disgusting. <laughs> I wish I could show you guys. I'm picking onion out of my literal underwear. Gross. Almost done with this though. But yeah, I wish I I wish I did mukbangs back then because I used to eat stupid amounts of food. They do a 10k calorie challenge just for fun. Could have been good content. Yeah, I'm pretty lean. Like with how much I eat. Burger down. So I had six nuggets, two burgers. I don't even know if you can consider that first one a burger. It was so tiny. Now we got some Wendy's ice cream. I think this is the best part of the meal. These burgers were weak. Chicken nuggets were okay, but the sauce tasted a little off. I don't like ranch, so that may be why. You know how some people have that gene where you can taste uh, soap when you eat cilantro or coriander? That's me. But I taste plastic when I eat ranch. And I taste a million pickles when I eat juice of one. Cursed. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a brain freeze. <laughs> Barely even ate any of this. 
Oh, gonna, gonna tough it out though. Now, if you're ah, there's a there's a trick. If you got a brain freeze, rub your tongue on the roof of your mouth. It's gonna warm up the blood vessels there. Now that works if your tongue's not frozen. If it's cold, it's gonna probably make it worse. But that's the trick to get rid of a brain freeze. Rub the tongue on the top of your mouth. Oh, sensitive teeth. Too. <laughs> Almost done with this ice cream though. Then I go to the gym and shit myself. Very nice. Oh my goodness, my mouth is pure ice. All right, we're almost we're almost through this. Heave ho. <laughs> Try not to let it get to the roof of my mouth because I got. I literally been having a brain freeze for like a minute past. From varying degrees. Oh, yeah! I can't wait to go to the washroom. <laughs> All right, there it is. <laughs> Wendy's mukbang. All done. The last drop. I have ice cream on the steering wheel. I got ice cream on my leg. I got a pickle in my uh, pickle, my burger, onion in my pants. This has been a wild, wild mukbang. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what I should eat next in the comments, and I'll see you next time.